Hello! I'm Necro, and today I'm going to take you through the Seeds and Adventures Tome items of Lake Shiver Wave. Timestamps are in the description, so without further ado, let's begin. We'll be starting out at the Dock Tri Port. From here, we're going to want to make our way to the left side of this plaza and run through this portal. On the other side, you're going to find the Rainbow Bridge Vista. Then, over here on the right side of this platform will be an investigate option. You'll search here to pick up the Chew Jelly ingredient. We'll be taking that to the chef in Rothen in the next video to make the Jelly Chew. With those two things, we're going to go ahead and teleport to the Bambiri Settlement Triport. We'll run left, and you'll want to come down to this point right here. Down here you'll find a giant treasure chest, and you might have to come back to this one later, but it's worth mentioning that the Song of Eternity you get from the 60% part of this log can be played in front of these large chests. And they will pop open like a creepy mimic and give you access to a Makoko underneath. Regardless, you'll continue on to about right here, where you'll find another seed beside of this bed. And then we're just going to make our way back towards the market. First, you'll want to make your way to right here, beside of the potion cellar. Just south of him, we're going to find these vines that we can interact with. And down here at the bottom, we'll find another seed. Then we'll climb back up. And if you come to here at the north side of the market, you'll find a bunch of elves chit-chatting, and you can get through this door, but to do so, you're going to need at least 250 Charisma points. If you do have that, you can just simply walk through. Inside is a fancy schmancy bar, and if you walk behind that bar, you will find yourself another seed. After that, you'll leave, and then you'll make your way to the center of the market right here. You'll find this object on the ground that you can investigate. This will start the hidden story, The Secret Recipe. If you walk just a little bit to the left of that spot right here, you'll find this couple talking, and you can investigate beside of them. This will give you 2 of 4. We'll go ahead and finish this up now, so we'll have to head to Elzowin Shade, and you'll come to the Shadowed Earth Triport. From the Triport, you're going to walk around this trail to the right, and you'll eventually find another one of these objects to investigate. This is number 3 of 4. And for the final piece, we're going to head back to Lake Shiverwave and head to the Fairy Settlement Triport. We'll be heading to the west. Also, while we're here, at about the center, you'll find the Sakul Alpha Monster Mark. And here at the far end of this section, right here, you'll find a final one of these things to investigate. And this will finish up the hidden story, The Secret Recipe. You'll also want to make your way up to this point right here to pick up the Enhanced Elemental Dust Moth Monster. And then in the corner right here, you'll find another chest to play the Song of Eternity at. Both of these monsters have second spawn points on this side of the map right here. And right here. Past the second spawn locations, we're going to climb up these vines. And at about halfway up the path right here, beside of a tree, you're going to find a seed. Then just south of that tree, there's another option to investigate. This will give you the Chew Chew Jelly, which is the second ingredient we'll need for that Jelly Chew. And a tiny bit more to the right of those two items, you'll find this Fairy NPC. If you have at least 250 Courage, you'll be able to walk behind her and you'll find an option that'll let you climb down if you click it. You will descend on a dandelion down to this lower level, where you can pick up a solitary seed. Now we'll want to fly back up and take this other jump over to the right, which will glide us across this long gap here. We'll run down these stairs a bit and hop over this gap here. And you'll want to come to the back of this little section right here into this garden, where you'll find another investigate option, which will give us the Chew 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 Jelly, and I bet you can guess what this is for. And slightly to the right of where we find that jelly, we're going to find the Sylvain Residence Vista. Now we'll be heading to the Sylvain Settlement Triport, and then we'll run down these stairs and head towards Avon's house through this portal. And from the portal, if you just head over past these boxes, you will find yet another chest to play the Song of Eternity at. Finally, we're going to head to the Fairy Settlement, and now we're going to be heading to the far west of the map. Right after jumping over this gap here, you're going to want to make your way to about right here. And at this point, right after jumping over this gap, you'll run into Gerdia and this guy who makes a comment about having a good drink. To access the hidden area here, you're going to need the Sweet Honey Butter Beer, which is one of the items we're going to need for the tome anyway. I'll be covering how to get it in more detail in the next video in Rothen. But it's not hard, and long story short, you're going to want to come to the Rothen Cook right here and the Ingredient Merchant Isa. You'll be buying honey butter and beer, and you'll craft them until you get a great success chance, at which point you'll be able to pick up the sweet honey butter beer. 
whether now or later on, once you have it, you're just going to use it in your inventory. Once you do, you're going to have a 10 minute buff called Mystic Drinker, and if you just walk towards the edge of this area, you'll be teleported. And over here on this platform, you're going to find another seed. Now we're going to head back. Then you can just teleport back over, and then we're going to head a little bit further south. And you'll want to make your way down to right here on the map, where we will pick up our final seed. And that'll wrap up Lake Shiverwave. Thanks so much for watching. If this video helped at all, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. We're going to be heading to Ruth next, so until then, that'll be all from me. See ya!